Tested. Hey guys, Will from Tested. I'm Norm from Tested. Norm, I have the Atrix in my hand again. Yeah, we saw this last week. Give you a first yeah. look of the Motorola Atrix 4G. But now we have the HD Multimedia Dock. Yes, that thing looks expensive. Oh, it is expensive. It look, has USB ports in the back. There's HDMI out and uh, audio jack. And you plug your phone in and you can do cool things with it. Let's check that thing out. Okay, so this is the entertainment center. Dot this is what interface. happens if you just plug an HDMI cable, the included from your phone, included HDMI yeah. cable, mini HDMI cable to a TV. Yes, or a monitor. Yep. Uh, so here you can browse your music. You know, I'm gonna see what kind of artists I have on here. Oh, it looks like Girl Talk because I started from the from the Z's. Okay. So uh, you'll note this is all 3D'd, like mm -hmm. much of the rest of the of the stuff on this phone because it's a Tigra phone. And it does a little visualization. I'm using you a remote right now. The remote comes with the HD Multimedia. The dock. remote, oh my god, I pressed the wrong button. I made poor choices. We're going back into that thing that we were just in. The Entertainment Center boots pretty fast. That was one of the things I was surprised by. Ooh, and there was also a little overlay. So you also, because you have a I keyboard, have the keyboard plugged, plugged in, in. Yeah. it shows you the overlay so you can use the keyboard as a control. Of course, and of course you can see pictures from your camera uh, from the SD card if you store them on mm -hmm. there. Uh, here I took a photo of like some crazy thing that was glued on a street on a, uh, light do a slideshow, like auto slideshow. Yeah, it'll do a slideshow if you want. So um, this actually looks pretty convenient for people who love showing their camera phone photos in like slideshow. This is like yeah. we went on a family vacation. I brought my camera, and here are some photos I took on vacation. I mean, the dock is a hundred bucks, but yeah, if you want to take, I mean, I could see carrying that mini HDMI cable with you everywhere, so that you have an easy way to plug into TVs sure. at parents' house right. or whatever. You don't necessarily need a dock for this. And in theory, it'll play video as well. You don't get the remote without the dock, of course, but the the screen actually shows like an on-screen remote right now. You can control with that yeah, as well. Yeah, there's a D-pad and you have a play button. Exactly. Um, I have yet to find a video I can get to work, which is a little bit of a bummer. We're still working on it. I'll, I'll keep trying some different encoding settings. But these videos are both encoded, uh, normal profile, something that works on iPhone, iPad, all sorts something of other stuff. with handbrake. Yeah, it doesn't play. I, I, none of my handbrake ripped videos play with this. 264, It's a little bit playing. of a bummer. Yeah. Um, what, what about our videos? Our video works fine. Yes. And with this 3D accelerated version, this is the 720p high bitrate version of the video. Works great. Hey, it looks really uh, good. So yeah, that's us. Yeah, that is us. Um, the other can you do something like play music in the background and then browse photos? I haven't, I can't hear sound right now, so it's difficult for me to say. Um, maybe, okay. And you get photos, music, uh, videos, very basic. Music. Artists, yeah, go, 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 go play your girl talk. Play a little girl talk. Uh, and how responsive is that remote? It's uh, not bad. It's, it seems to be an infrared remote, although I, you know you can't see through the plastic these days, and I can't tell where the receiver is. Uh, back out. I think the music stopped. I still can't hear it for whatever technical. I think it's, reason it's very, very basic got going now. functionality. Yeah, I mean this is. You're not going to replace a dedicated streaming box with this. Okay. But let's get to the exciting thing because the the thing this this web top feature is both really interesting and highly controversial. I mean, do you, would you agree? Uh, I would agree. So you launched it actually from that uh, the, the theater yep. mode, but you don't have to launch from that. Once you, you don't. plug the phone into the dock, you need the dock. It gives you a dock. notification. Yep. And it, it says, says hit this what do you to wanna, choose what you want to do. What do you want to launch? And you can launch what top. So the lame thing is if you just plug in the phone uh, and you are trying to use a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, it actually won't let you do that. Uh, you have to have the dock in order to use the web top, which we found out last week. So there's a couple things going on here. First is on the left, this is actually Someone the phone. Someone was looking for Rubik's Cube solvers. No, no, I would never do that. Um, yeah, this is actually, you know, this is actually the phone, right? So this is, yeah, this is one of the home screens on my on on the phone. Mm -hmm. You can go to the app menu. Uh, you can go back to how, the main how do you home screen. Uh, you just kind of drag with the mouse. It doesn't work oh. that well, but they have shortcuts to the to the key stuff. Uh, okay. So, for example. This side of the of what looks like a Mac OS X dock mm -hmm. uh, is actually stuff that runs on the phone. So oh. this brings up the contact list inside the virtualized Let's not show phone, phone numbers. Uh, we won't show phone numbers. That's a good good call. Uh, but they're all up there. If you want to see uh, the dialer, you can mm -hmm. dial the actual. So the phone. Oh my is god, up. my phone phone number. On so the phone is that. fully uh, fully functional as a phone. You could call me right now, I and I would that. be able to take a call. Go go show more things. Go show like maps and see uh, if you can do a multi touch. So I don't think I can do multi-touch in the maps, but we'll we'll find out momentarily. Oh my God, you guys all know where I am. The horrors. Uh, I'm somehow on Andy Salisbury's page. But the bummer is the soft buttons are actually on the bottom of the screen. So it's it's a little bit tricky to use. You have to kind of use zoom buttons. Oh, hey, it's oh, on the look. Block, block out that phone number. More phone numbers to block. Uh, 
This is really loud and not good. Bye. So I just hung up you on you. You have like multitasking. Yes. Phone calls just come in. Yeah. And uh, what resolution is this? 720. Uh, so we're running at 720p right now. I haven't actually explored enough to find out if we can run 1080p. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure we can. Though. Yeah. Um, so here's the here's the actual interesting stuff. There are really three applications here. One is the file manager, which lets you actually browse the uh, different files on the system. You can minimize the phone thing if you want to get it out of your way, mm -hmm. which is kind of nice. All right. Well, uh, this looks like multiple your list things of, at once. of open windows. I'm going to shrink this back away. Uh, so yeah, here's the actual browser. This is all the stuff that's on the phone. You can see uh, the base internal storage, which is I think 16 gigs on this phone, and 32 gig micro SD card that I have plugged in here. Uh, I think I bought a really bad 32 gig micro SD card because it seems to be very, very slow. What, what if you plug like an external hard drive or a USB key? I have no idea what happens. Yeah, uh, but will I don't that, have an uh, Will that something? pop up in this file manager? Something, I would assume so. Okay. Uh, if we can get a USB key, then we can try that in a sec. In the meantime, let's look at Firefox. Uh oh, something's crashed. And you're connected uh, on Wi Fi right now because you're connected don't on pay Wi Fi. That S9. Uh, the tethering charge. I'm not paying the insano tethering charge. No, that is that is. So don't you to not use cool. your phone's data on the phone, basically. So this is saving this saves state. Okay. So uh, these are the tabs I had open last time. You know, I'm running Twitter. It is definitely not speedy. Yeah, this is. This and is by slow. not speedy, I mean it is hella slow. Uh, but it's it's basically it's full Firefox. This is uh, 3.1 uh, uh, 3.16 or something. I, I looked a minute ago. Oh God, Norman. Save. Yeah, it's, it takes a long, long time to load. And too many uh, windows. Yeah. 3.6.13. Look, I, it's for Ubuntu, so this is, it is running Ubuntu. some type of Linux this is, build. This is the canonical Ubuntu web top build that, that a lot of motherboards seem to include. Mm. Uh, there are some shortcuts here. I haven't figured out how to get rid of these yet. This one always takes you to this page, which I assumed was a place to download more apps. Okay. But it turns out it's just an ad for <sighs> the actual feature that you I'm already using. You can actually download Apps. Yes, look, I can, oh, I can look at the experience. Now, the question is, is this video going to work? Is this uh, Flash? I, YouTube? Yes, okay. Hey, this is on Motorola's site. This is their ad for this video, for the feature we're using right now. Oh, look how slow that is. It is, it is hella slow. Oh. So as I Ooh. use this more, I think that this is probably not an experience that most people are going to want. What, what if there's one tab and you go to... Like, let's, let's go to YouTube. You want me to go to one tab and yeah. go to some YouTube? I'm killing Twitter here. Go away, Twitter. All right. Hi, YouTube. Oh, wait. Let's watch a Corgi video. Yes, one of the best Corgi videos on the internet. Hey, man. Chloe, Chloe. One Chloe. of the best. When you say shit like that, Chloe knows, man. It's not, wow. 4.6 million man. views. You're 360p, okay? So I'm going to make Full it screen. a little bit bigger. Oh, that it's is. It's at 480p. This is like. First gen's netbook. The experience, it is not awesome. Oh, it's, it's playing no. at oh, like a no. stuttery frame rate. It, stuttery frame. is the word you're looking for. Oh, well, sup, the, and ads. How about uh, full screen? Okay, we can try that. You're braver than I am. You're on 40p. This is 480p. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, let's get crazy. This is a 720p version available. Oh. Get ready for the slideshow, Norman Chan. It's, it's playing. So the kinda. thing, my theory after using this for a little bit is that Motorola actually priced that laptop dock at $500 and required tethering so that nobody would buy it because this is a terrible experience. This is not something good. Oh uh, Google Docs I fired up a little while ago. Still it, 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 it's a fan. Look, the slow motion makes this even better. Look how high he gets. I just, why does he jump so high, Norm? Small dog thinks he's a big dog. It's the best thing about corgis. Um, yeah, so... Wow. How, let's go to test it, see how our site runs. We have, yeah, this is... This site's a fairly standard site. You know, lots of oh images. God! I just dropped the mouse. But then the mouse is, looks pretty responsive. Yeah, the mouse is just is, is very responsive. Uh, I actually did a moment ago type faster than it could keep up with, though, which I haven't done since about the 2001, maybe. The speed of time. Tested.com. And you have bookmarks. We'll do bookmark syncing. It does not do bookmark sync. Well, it will do bookmark syncing, I assume, with uh, Firefox bookmark add-ons. Okay. I would assume you can install extensions. I haven't actually tried that yet, but it shows up as an option here. Um, uh, but yeah, I, not, I don't. Not loading, really. Yeah, okay, there it goes. It's this little the little guy's working real hard right now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Is, is the phone warm? The phone. When I used it last time, the phone was hot as hell. No, it's, it's, it's all right. Not I'm that warm. Okay. No, it's, it's That's good. good. It's. I mean, the smooth scroll, not there. After 
10 minutes with this. I don't think anybody should spend money on this. And how about that, uh, that Facebook button? Is that also just a link to the Facebook website? The Facebook is button is a, a standalone app. Okay. Uh, but it seems to just be a web browser. Uh, like all you're seeing is the, is the web version of Facebook. Uh, it's nothing, nothing fancy. It, and it's hella slow too. And it's just bad things. I so would, yeah. all you can really do, Facebook in a window, I, Firefox, this like isn't, low res YouTube. Yeah. You're can better you, off. With you can't even. There, is there no video player even? Like you can't even play videos. You you have to switch over to the entertainment center for that. Uh, I, just for shits and giggles, I'm gonna see if we can play one of our videos. I, my bet is probably not so much. Um, the the Flash. take the takeaway on all this is I would not spend money on this. There are two versions of the dock if mm -hmm. you want to try it. One is the SD version. It doesn't have an HDMI port. It doesn't have the remote. It's a lot cheaper. That is just for the charging and for the clock mode. That's if you want to have a clock on your nightstand. Yep. I, I've been using that the last few nights. Really good in that regard if you use your phone as your as your alarm clock. Yeah. Uh, the rest of it, it, it up. I'm significantly less excited about. And the web top, I would not spend any hey, money to get blank. that experience. I think it actually might be working. This is the low resolution version. That looks pretty good. Okay, nice. that's not too bad. Okay, so uh, this is a, here's a, we did get a USB key to plug it in. It looks like everything works. Yeah, you can. I mean, you can move files between yeah, the USB key. I want to see what a Kawaii Cat is. Uh, I hope this isn't dirty. Oh man, who's who's this, thumb drive these, is this? Definitely honest thumb drive. Oh yeah, that's got to be honest thumb drive. Okay, so uh, you can browse files. I wonder if I can drag them to the desktop. Let's get crazy. I don't think there is a desktop. Well, I see a desktop. I don't know whether it treats it as a desktop. Yeah. I, nothing's closing. Go away. All right. Let's see if you can even set it as a wallpaper. Boom. No, that nope, doesn't work. Does not want. They got me Is there right clicking? Uh, maybe. Why not? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You can copy. Yes, it. I can open it with Media Gallery. Let's do that. Oh, that's which on is the something phone. on the oh, phone. God damn it. Nice. Okay, so I mean that's that's. Set as wallpaper. I don't. I just. I just don't. Hey, see this. customization. Yeah. Look, it's like a awesome. real computer. Let's check out the top right hand corner really quick. All the notification stuff up here. So this is an opportunity to turn Bluetooth off. Wi-Fi, of course. Uh, these are settings. The settings are couple settings. pretty thin. Okay. Um, you can, advanced. you know, in advance, you can set up a network proxy. Okay. Uh, I wonder if actually you can turn that off and then just use the network that's built into the phone. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's. I mean, there's not a whole lot to configure here. This is very similar to every other yeah. web top I've ever used. Really, just Firefox, Facebook. File browser, pretty much, and the phone in the background. Yeah, I mean, the, the and the Firefox, Firefox should give you access to the to the world, right? Sure. Uh, whether or not that's actually the case, I don't know for sure. Yeah. So anyway, here here we go. Uh, there's not a whole lot going on here. All right. So let's I guess head let's, back to the bricks. Yeah. Okay. So that thing. Yes, the HD multimedia dock. I don't. I don't need what it brings dollars. to me. Yeah. It's yeah. too much. It doesn't. The web top pretty much sucks. It's not a real OS. It's a web browser. That's it. It's kind of cool that they did the integration where you can have the phone at the same time take phone calls. That is the neat part. That is neat. Like the idea is really cool. The implementation. Web top just doesn't do enough. Way too not slow. fast well, enough it's too right slow. now. Yeah. Not fast enough for what we'd want from it. Yeah. And, and for what you pay. Yeah. For you pay hundred bucks for this. Well, or, or if you buy the laptop thing, that's five hundred. And you have to do data plan stuff. It's not worth it. Stay away from the web top. We'll have a full review of the phone in the not too distant future. I, I'm just not impressed. Thumbs down.